Sudwind. You have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Sudwind welcomes the creation of the mandate and your appointment as the Special Rapporteur, Madam Special Rapporteur. We hope that your efforts can help end discrimination against a population that constitutes more than 10 percent in every country in the world. First, let us begin with our most important question, which concerns the very term persons with disabilities. Do you agree that the very use of the term implies acceptance of discrimination? Isn't it true that people belonging to this social groups usually show abilities more than the average persons in the society and are over able in many fields. Shouldn't we find a better term to use? In your report, you have stated that you will visit the countries where you are invited. We are sorry to say that in this very council, there are countries that regard any discussion of social issues as deliberate slander. Countries that have gone through war and still face amputation of women and children due to mine explosion, and yet some authorities of these countries give very unrealistic statistics of persons with disabilities. Madam Special Rapporteur, we wish to draw attention to civilian casualties and victims of mine explosions in Iran, which as of 2030 exceeded 50,000, most of them in rural areas without access to transport to standard hospitals and standard prothesis. How do you plan to support persons with disabilities in such countries, especially countries that might not extend an invitation to you? We ask you to work closely with Dr. Ahmad Shahid, Special Rapporteur on the situation situation of human rights in the Islamic Republic of Iran and other rapporteurs like the Special Rapporteur on Health and Special Rapporteur on the Elderly Person and to demand a visit to Iran where you can assess the situation of human rights in regard to the subject of your mandate. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you.